Hey everyone, my name is Andrew. I'm the 5PM Chef. Welcome to my first video. Today I just want to go over some simple basics, some time-saving trip tricks. Pardon me if I make mistakes. I'm going to be stuttering. I'm, I'm honestly a bit nervous about doing all this. I'm still learning a lot of things, so there's going to be some editing done. I'm going to be cutting between a couple of cameras and everything. I'm still working all this out. I'm still getting equipment set up, but eventually I will have it where it's going to look a lot more clean, a lot more professional. But right now, it's just about introducing myself, getting to know what you want, what I can do, and how we can help each other. If you're like me, you come home after work, the last thing you want to do is cook. What I do is I take an hour on the weekends, it's nice, it's relaxing, it helps me unwind. I'll make up a few things. I made some pizza dough earlier. The recipe is on the Facebook page, and I will include it in the description of this video as well. I've made a simple pizza sauce that's cooking on the stove, and right now I'm just grilling up some crumbled Italian sausage that's gonna go on the pizza we're gonna make today. If by just doing a few little things on the weekend during the week then when you come home it's not a big chore you're not starting to make dough you're not starting to cook you just assemble everything put it in your oven relax and let it cook just enjoy i always say a meal isn't there just to fill your stomach it's there to fill your soul if you're cooking with your family, if you're cooking with loved ones, it's a time to spend together. It's a time to be together, to get caught up on the day's events, just to be there for one another. So what, right now I've moved over to my stove. What I have here is just a few little things. I've grilled up some nice Italian sausage. I've made a pizza sauce, so it's simple, easy. It's the easiest thing to do. You get some tomato coulis or tomato sauce. I really like this one that I'm able to get at my local shop. I'm not going to do promos <laughs> for particular brands, but it's just a straightforward, simple tomato sauce. I take this, I add a few spices, some oregano, some garlic. I like a little kick in my sauce, so I put some chili, pe chili peppers in there. It's simple, it's easy, it's a nice thick sauce. So it's going to sit well on the pizza and not everything's going to go flying and sliding off of it. The other thing I have here on my stove, like I say, is some grilled Italian sausage. Again, I've gone with a nice spicy one. Here is where the first video all comes into play, where I start having to play and adjust my camera to show you everything. So we have our sauce cooking, as I said, and I can see we're going out of focus. We're back in. So as I said, we have some nice, simple sauce cooking. And I also have my Italian sausage going. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of editing in this, and I know the video quality is not going to be the best, but the idea is there. And as I said, I've purchased cameras. I'm waiting for them to arrive. I'll have a more permanent setup here, and we'll be able to do a lot more things. For the meantime, though, what I'm going to just do is let this cook, let this simmer, do what it has to do. We're going to go back over to the table. We're going to show you some dough. We're going to show you how to work it and we're going to get this pizza started. So I can see our dough has had a time to rest. It's softened up. When I touch it now, it's kind of like a memory foam mattress. Just sort of springs back to your touch. Now what we'll be able to do is actually start working the dough. We're going to roll it out and then we're going to let it rest once again this time when we when we let it rest, <coughs> when we let it rest, we're gonna let it rest right on the pan we're gonna cook it on. So we've moved the camera. You can now see our cookie sheet. One of the things that's gonna make your life a lot easier, trust me, is to invest in some good parchment paper. You put this on your pans. First of all, clean up is a breeze. Everyone knows it's a pain to clean non-stick pans. You're always worried about scratching them. You can't really use oil on them because it just blackens and makes everything a horrible mess. And that's even worse than just having a dirty pad in the first place. So I really love parchment paper. 
you just simply put it to your pan. If it's not a perfect fit, don't worry. You want it close, but it doesn't have to be exact. Lay that out. You can see even I have a bit of overhang here. That's fine. We're going to take our dough and basically right away we're just going to stretch it out just a little bit. Right? And try here. Get a little bit better view of this. It's not the easiest as I say. I am still working on getting the proper cams so that we can have all this set up proper. Sorry if anyone's getting sick with the movement of the camera. It's only temporary. And of course the camera won't want to stay where it needs to stay. So let's try to move that into frame. There we go. So once again all we're doing is we're stretching Pat it out. We're working out some of those air bubbles. We're just trying to make it more even. And yes, you can do the whole tossing thing. It helps, they say, to make more round pizza. But guess what? You know when you go to your local pizza shop and you see really weird shaped hand-stretched artisan pizzas. Yeah, that's just because the guy behind the counter doesn't know how to stretch it up. <laughs> so you pay more because they aren't, they don't have all the right people, so to speak, doing the work. Now, one thing I found, <laughs> it's a little bit strange. No, it's not to drink. It's actually great for rolling out pizza right in the pan. We're just going to stretch that out a bit more. Let it go to the approximate size that we want it. If you're making for more people, use a bit more dough. If it's only for you and you don't want as much, use less dough. There's no right or wrong. And the more you do this, the more you play around with it, the more you have fun learning about the pizza and what you can do with this great dough, the possibilities are limitless. So I've got a nice little lip there that's going to help hold in some of the sauce. And for me, that's good enough. Like I said, I don't care if it's perfect. I don't need it round. If I'm having a party and I want to impress people, yeah, I'll do the whole round thing. I'll make it look really, really nice. But for now, it's not necessary. What we're doing now is just trying to make something to eat. We're trying to get dinner on the table. And of course, I get st sticky stuff in the saran wrap. So again, we're just going to cover that up. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we don't... I'm going to try to get it all covered because we don't want any dry little bits. There is some really nice olive oil on there already. I had that in my bowl while the dough was rising. So that's going to help to make everything nice and tasty. It's another layer of flavor. Everyone loves garlic bread. Everyone loves their specialty dipping breads. There's nothing stopping you from seasoning your own dough here and doing that right in the pizza. Why pay extra for no reason, right? <laughs> so, we're just going to let that rest a little bit more. We're going to season it up afterwards, and we're going to go back to the stove. We're going to toss this in, and we're going to bake it all up. So, let's see what we can do. We'll be back as soon as this is ready. Hey everyone, so we're back. Time lapse is great. I've moved over to the stove again. Our dough is risen. It's all nice and baked. I'm trying to hold it up to the can, but at the same time, I don't want to spill it everywhere. 
I've also taken the time to preheat the oven. It's at 450 degrees, so it's nice and hot. Take the plastic off of our pizza. Oh, and that looks so good. You can smell it, that nice yeasty dough. I'm gonna point the camera down. It's gonna be off me. It's gonna be on my fat stomach, unfortunately, but there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> The sauce we made before is thickened up. It's really nice. But as you see, that's all it really takes. You don't want a ton of sauce on your pizza because then everything you put on it just slides off when you take that first bite. And we all know that's like the worst thing ever. You get that hot dripping cheese, everything, all down your chin, all over yourself. And let's face it, it hurts. <laughs> So we've got our pizza, our sauce on, nice, even, doesn't take a lot because there's a lot of flavor there. From there, we all like pepperoni, so we're going to put a bit of that on. I bought this local, once again, my friends over at Del Monaco. You need your pizza, you need your dough. They sell dough pre-made, so even if you don't want to take the time to make it yourself, stop by, they have it all the time. So, we've got some nice, spicy Italian, uh, sorry, nice spicy pepperoni now. I also took the time, we grilled up some of that German sausage. I also have the Italian sausage going on in here. Like I say, not a pizza for the faint of heart, but every once in a while, you just got to live. You just got to take those little bites and enjoy life. So, we've got all our stuff, or most of our stuff on our pizza. So we've got three types of sausages going there. I've lost my cloth. <laughs> To make it, I don't want to say healthier, but at least to make some people happy. And plus, what goes better with sausage and some really nice sweet bell peppers. I always try and use the orange, the yellow, or the red peppers. They're just sweeter. They taste nicer. Sometimes the green ones can be a little bit bitter, or they don't taste as nice. So. I like sticking with the colored peppers. Another thing I really like on my pizza, and this is totally optional, I know not everyone likes it, but a little bit of chopped mixed olives. So we've got some green olives in there, we've got some black olives, and we have some kalamata, some really nice Greek olives. Then what does every pizza need? cheese and lots and lots of cheese. You just sprinkle it on. You don't want to pack the cheese in, you don't want to press it down, because then it just gets all cakey and gummy and it doesn't cook properly. The other thing is, is you want to actually leave some toppings exposed. You want to do that for two reasons. One, it gives the steam and everything a place to go and the cheese will actually melt better. It won't be just the top that's cooked, it'll be cooked all the way through. Because don't forget, now what we're doing is we're cooking the dough, we're cooking the toppings a bit, bringing them up to temperature, we're going to roast those peppers some, <coughs> and then we're also going to be melting that cheese. A few things you can do if you like, it's just some garlic powder, Sprinkle it around that crust. No need to spend the extra four bucks at Domino's or Pizza Hut or whatever and get twisty breads, garlic breads, whatever they're calling them this week. And what's also really nice is just a little shot of oregano on top of that cheese. I know my oven is hot. I know it's up to 450 degrees. I'm looking at the stomach and I'm going, do I really need this pizza? But you know what? It's about enjoying life.
the pizza goes into the oven, takes between 15, 15 to 17 minutes. We want to cook it till everything is nice and golden brown. Let's try and get that camera off my stomach now. There's no need for it to be there. It's going to cook for about 15, 18 minutes. We want the cheese nice and brown. We want the crust nice and golden. Once it's out, we'll come back, we'll show it to you, and then we'll do the big cut in and the taste. We'll see you when it's all ready. Hey everyone, so we're back. Our, we just took our pizza out of the oven. As you can see, as best as we can. Try and lift this up without burning myself. Gorgeous pizza. Let's try and get that more into it. And now to focus. There we go. So we've got our gorgeous pizza. We've got a nice crisp crust. Cheese is nice and melted. The toppings, everything is nice and sizzling. The joy of the parchment paper. Up. Over to our cutting board. And we've got a baking sheet that with a simple wipe down is clean. No dishes. <laughs> You gotta love when there's no dishes in life, eh? It's part of part of what everyone loves about takeout. When you're done, you just chuck everything in the garbage. Well, this way, as close as you're gonna get without the cardboard box. You cut into this on the crunch, the crunch, the crunch of that dough is just incredible. Lift one of these pieces up so we can see better now just how nice and hot and steamy that is. So the crust is all golden brown and everything. I really can't wait till I get the better cameras in. They're ordered. We're just waiting for Amazon to deliver. But I was making the pizza today and I really want to get it done for everyone. So there we go. We're done. I know the video is going to be cut and there's going to be fast motion and slow motion and lots of editing to it. And in real time, this pizza has taken me about 25 minutes, including cooking time to make. But <coughs> it's just getting used to everything. I'm still trying to learn this software. I'm still trying to learn how to place everything and just get a little bit more comfortable with it all. I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe, to hit the little bell so you know when I've uploaded a new video. And also, this is the most important thing. I said it before. When you eat, it's not just to fill your stomach. It's to fill your soul. It's to make you happy and to take that time to enjoy the little things in life. Until we see each other again, my name is Andrew. I'm the 5 p.m. chef. It's been great cooking with you. We'll see you again soon.